what is up gamers it is march and we have a lot of games that are coming out this month for us to look at we've got so many games i couldn't even list them all here but i went through and found 10 of them i think you might want to be keeping an eye on so that waste any more time let's look at the top 10 games coming out in march at number 10 we have shadow warrior 3. low wayne is back with his cheesy one-liners and insane combat now, if you never played these games before, they play similar to Doom games, where the combat is fast-paced, but you have over-the-top weapons and abilities in these games. Now, this time, you have to track down a dragon and stop the world from being taken over by demons. But you will have new weapons, new gear, as well as environmental items that you can use to cause chaos and fun. Now, the graphics look top-notch, and I love how this game has not lost its charm over the years. I love the sarcasm, the cheesy one-liners, the insane combat, and now you have abilities where you can do finishing moves and use these enemies' effects on other ones. So I thought that was a nice little touch, making it stand out from the other one. I am most definitely looking forward to doing my review on this one. Shadow Warrior 3 is set to release March 1st. At number 9, we have Elex 2. It's been several years since you have defeated the hybrid, but the factions of this world are still fighting one another when a new threat appears. Now you have to unite the groups to fight while trying to find your son in this RPG-like game, where your actions have major consequences. Now you can join one of the three factions having access to their equipment and abilities, being able to upgrade them over time, or you can go rogue and not rely on them all, which is a nice, interesting touch. Now, it looks like they are going to be trying to go much bigger from the previous one, allowing you to traverse the world, like I said, interacting with NPCs or have, or have, or have lasting effects because they'll remember what you did, whether you did good things, bad things, whether you helped them or not. And based on your actions, certain ones may join your group and some may not. So I thought that was a nice little touch to it. It makes it feel more realistic. It makes you really feel like your actions impact everything around you. Elex 2 is set to release March 1st. At number 8 we have Babylon's Fall. In this RPG you are outfitted with a Gideon coffin that allows you to carry multiple weapons and use unique powers as you climb the Tower of Ziggurat to unlock its secrets. Now you can play this solo or in a party up to 4 players where you have a variety of weapons to choose from depending on your playstyle, all the way from up close weapons to ranged weapons. Now the combat in this game looks great and I really like the art style for this game, the bright and dark colors, how they mix it in, how you can customize your character. I thought it was a nice little touch and I think this would be the perfect game for RPG lovers to just dive into doing runs and just playing with their friends. Babylon Fall is set to release March 3rd. At number 7, we have What Lies in the Multiverse. In this beautiful pixel themed game, you have the ability to jump between universes to solve puzzles, discover secrets, and make new friends and enemies. And with some dark humor mixed in and a very unique cast of characters, you're in for a very funny trip. I like the concept of jumping between universes and, and going with a pixel like look makes it stand out a lot. I think this will be one of those games that you can really like dive into and just have fun exploring and just seeing the craziness of what, what happens. What Lies in the Multiverse is set to release March 4th. At number 6, we have Gran Turismo 7. The next generation of racing is here and it looks breathtaking. Now you'll have a solo campaign to enjoy as well as the arcade mode and the driving school. Now they'll be bringing back the GT simulation along with GT Sport. You have a photographic mode and a lot more that you can do enjoying the latest version of this no matter if you want to race, collect cars, or take breathtaking photos. You'll have over 420 cars with a lot of options for you to drive. Now this would be a perfect time to have a PS5 and perfect time for the PS5 to really show off its graphics because just looking at the trailers and everything this game looks amazing so you got a PS5 you have a high-end monitor I think you're going to enjoy it or a high-end TV I think you're definitely really going to enjoy just looking at this game Gran Turismo 7 is set to release March 4th 
And number five, we have Gunborg Dark Matters. In this 2D style action shooter and platformer, you board a ship to capture some targets, but it won't be easy. With a bunch of traps, hazards, and enemies trying to stop you. Now be prepared for some fast paced combat mixed in with some platforming and using the enemy's own weapons against them as you fight to get your targets. Now this game can be played via a controller or the keyboard which I think is great. So I think this game would be perfect for either or. Now I like how the quick the combat moves and it makes you really think on your feet and sometimes it may make you just go with the flow. Gunboard Dark Miners is set to release March 4th. And number four, we have Now There Be Goblins. Something new for our VR players, we have a mix of a hack and slash with tower defense all in VR. You will have to stop goblins from invading, so it's all up to you, your weapons, and your brain. You'll have to lay down defenses and traps to slow them down, use their own weapons against them, as well as having abilities of your own that you can upgrade in a lot. Now this game will be an early access so I'm really looking forward to seeing what else they'll bring to this title in the upcoming months. Now There Will Be Goblins is set to release March 28th. And number 3 we have Ghostwire Tokyo. In this first person horror action game, an occultist has released supernatural forces across the city of Tokyo causing the people to vanish and the city to be overrun by vengeful spirits called Yoki. You have to travel to now dangerous but mysterious city, fighting these yokis and uncovering the real truth while trying to save your family using power and abilities of your own. This, now this game gives me Resident Evil vibes mixed with first person shooter mechanics. So I'm kind of curious how that's going to balance out with each other. I do think though, I can see a lot of great jump scares coming out of this game. But we'll have to see. Ghostwire Tokyo is set to release March 22nd. At number 2, we have Aztec Forgotten Gods. In this action adventure game that mixes in Aztec culture, you play as a chitter, a young woman trying to defend her home from forgotten gods by using her own powers against them. Now you'll be able to explore this beautiful world that's inspired by technology but still has its Aztec traditions rooted deep in the culture. Now me personally, I love the shell shaded art style of this game. I love games that use that and use it very well. The large boss battles look like they'll be intense but a lot of fun. And the music for this game just really caught me. Sometimes great music can have an amazing impact on a game. Aztec Forgotten Gods is set to release March 10th. And at number one, we have Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Borderlands is back for us fans with a new spin on the series. This time, you're part of Tiny Tina's bizarre and crazy world of RPG adventure game, but with plenty of guns to use. Now, you can travel this vast world using a mix of guns and magic to defeat your enemies either solo or in a group. You'll be able to customize your player and mix and match between six different classes that you can use to customize your playstyle. Now, the funniness of this series is still here, so fans should be in for a good laugh while traversing this new world and shooting up everything at the same time. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is set to release March 25th. And that's just a slew of the games we got coming out in March. Like I said, we've got so many more games coming out that if I were to like try to add on, it'd probably be like 10 more games at least. But I didn't want to bore you guys down with that many. But let me know in the comments below which games caught your eye, which games you didn't know about. But now you're going to be adding to your wish list and what games I did mention that you're looking forward to. Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely hit that like button. I do this video every month to let you guys know some new games coming out to keep your eyes on. And as always, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to hit that bell and turn notifications on. I talk about stuff going on in the gaming and tech world. I do reviews on some of the latest games to take this out. Like I said, I do a, a video like this every month letting you guys know the new games are coming out and so much more. You make sure to follow me on Twitter and my other social media pages you want to keep up to date with me or see what I'm talking about. I love talking about gaming, so don't be afraid. I may talk your head off to a point. And if you want to catch me playing games in real time, I stream on Twitch. I play anything from PC to console and, and VR games. So if you want to see me play some of these games, especially some of the games I do reviews on and do gameplay on, you can catch me on there. And you can talk to me in real time. But this is Proto. I'll catch you guys in the next video.